Welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. In this session we are going to discuss on AWS CLI troubleshooting. When you use AWS CLI you may face uh, common issues which I documented here. First issue maybe you are not able to reach AWS API gateway or you are getting invalid credential error even you are sure your credentials are correct. Or issue maybe you are not able to run AWS CLI commands at all. Let me open a putty session to my server or where I have already configured my AWS CLI to show you how you can troubleshoot the issue. First issue which I told you are not able to reach AWS API gateway. Each service got its own API gateway specific to region and let I am using use services from US West to reason and all communication to AWS API happens over port 443. If connectivity is missing on port 443, I am sure you are going to experience the issue unless you are using some different mechanism or different way to connect to API, you, maybe you are in your local setup, you got some proxy server configuration, you are connecting to your proxy. And through proxy communication is happening otherwise this is the way if you are on normal internet so friends if you see port is open 443 tcp so it means that's fine if i get error port is not open then i'm sure this is the issue other thing friends uh, on my machine let me show you interface configuration here i go two interfaces this is my management interface it's zero it one is my WAN interface or you can say through this interface I got uh, connection to AWS. If this interface is down, it means communication will not happen over internet. So that may be the issue. So in my case, both things are working and I'm able to communicate with the API. Next issue friends, uh, you are sure your credentials are correct, but you are not able to reach uh, AWS API. To check that, uh, let me run command uh, any AWS CLI query command, I'm running AWS EC2 describe reason. So here if you see I got error, error occurred, authentication failure, auth failure. So it means uh, my credentials are not getting authenticated, but I am 100% sure my authentic, my uh, authentication should work because my credentials are fine. So friends to troubleshoot this first thing you can do you can log into your AWS console. Here I already opened session to my console and uh, here this is the active key. If you see this key it is showing inactive and I'm using this particular key, key ID. So friends uh, that's an issue because key should be active then only I can use it key and uh, key ID and key. So I'm making it active here. So if you see now it is active. If I run the command again on my system now, it should work. So let's try. I'm minimizing this one. Okay, so let's run same command again. So friends, if you see this time command worked. Only thing I did, I made that particular access key active. That was an active. Other thing friends, uh, let's say on your system you go to invalid date or time, then that may cause like communication issues or connectivity issues. So to replicate that scenario, let me run, let me change date. Right now date is correct. Let me show you what is the correct date, current date, sorry. Right now it's a uh, accurate time. It's 2.15 in the morning here in Sydney. So let me change date. Uh, I've changed it to, let's say I'm changing it to 27th. I'm making it at once just for this scenario. Let's run date command now. Now date is incorrect. Actual date is 25th, but I have uh, made it 27th. So let's run this command. Describe region. It shouldn't work. If you see here again, authentication failure. You will see, you will think like uh, again, credentials are incorrect or maybe account is inactive, but see, this is not the cause. 
why it is not working because and current date on the server is incorrect and the date is different on your AWS CLI server and API gateway so friends to fix this what you can do you can check whether your NTP service is running or not if you are not using NTP at all I recommend to use NTP if you are not using at all you can uh, do with date command you can correct the set date or here I'm using NTP so what I'm going to do I'm, I will just run restart the NTP service system CTL service not service restart NTPD is a service name it said fail to restart what happened NTP no why so it means friends NTP is not installed let me check NTP package is there or not NTP NTP package is not here so friends uh, for better understanding I will install NTP package right away yum install minus y NTP enter NTP is installed let me enable NTP service let me start it okay before starting I want to show you the error still exists or not so date is still incorrect on the server and uh, I'm running same command described region I'm not changing anything so error is still there so let's start NTP system CTL start NTPD dot service enter so service is started let's check what is the date now so it will take a couple of seconds to uh, sync up the date so now uh, date is synced up so friends uh, I have I haven't changed anything only I have uh, corrected the time system time using NTP so let's run same command here if you see this time command worked we have not changed anything on uh, AWS console side so that may be the reason your uh, authentication is not happening due to NTP other thing friends which I can think of uh, because AWS CLI use Python to communicate by any chance if on your system you upgraded Python and your path Python path code change or your Python binary got corrupted that may be the reason you are not able to run Python command so let me do one thing for uh, this example uh, let me check what is the Python path here Python is in user version Python I'm just moving it to somewhere let's say Python dot old and let's run AWS CLI command same command you see it is saying uh, it is not able to find Python so that's the issue and uh, to fix it uh, you can restore the Python to it, its actual path so that will fix the issue so let me move it back on its actual location so now this command should work and friend if your AWS CLI bundle got corrupted then may you may face same issue so you can uh, reinstall it and then reconfigure your credentials uh, these are the possible causes friends which I am thinking so if you have faced any other issue what I request you update on my YouTube channel like you face this issue so we can uh, educate or do knowledge sharing with the community so thanks for watching this session friends if you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment thanks a lot friends bye bye